shit is getting real now, my friend. Can you feel it? This is your energy forecast for June 2024. And oh my gosh, this is the moment we've been waiting for, friends. So if you've been listening to a lot of different channelings, energy forecasts from myself and others, probably you heard the energy was supposed to shift in May and it did but it was also kind of a test because the energy it shifted but really only on an energetic level which led to May being this kind of awkward bridging month where we were in limbo we were kind of feeling stuck and we're just like okay we left behind the old but where's the new I don't know where I'm at now coming into June 2024 this is where we anchor into the new chapter finally we see those results we're gonna have tangible shifts in the energy is gonna just move more and more quickly things are gonna happen more and more frequently at a faster and faster pace as we move from June into July and onward and upward remember this is the year of the dragon and at the core of this year is the theme creation or destruction so I had quite a few people actually reaching out to me after proposing this theme and after basically April and May they're like oh I guess I'm in the path of destruction and not creation oh my gosh not necessarily my friend if your life is blowing up if you're having a lot of tower moments if you're having a lot of destruction that could actually be creation in disguise. So really what this creation or destruction thing means is it's your mindset. Will you see everything that's happening from a higher perspective of creation? Or are you going to play the victim and see it all as this destruction that's out of your hands that you can't do anything about, that it sucks, that you're never gonna climb out of this pit? It is your choice and that is the theme of this year. This is how you become the dragon. This is how you ride the dragon is you choose to see things from a higher vantage point. No matter how out of control things may feel in your life, no matter how much your ego may be protesting, no matter how fearful you are. And so if you can do that, this month, the month that is like exactly halfway through the year, this is going to be where you start to get the instantaneous reflection of that choice, okay? So, you've done hard work you're exhausted probably still may was a little bit of a rest month as well but it's exhausting because a lot was happening under the surface now things are shifting slowly but surely and they're going to keep amping up so strap in now we're going to see what points do they want us to kind of be aware of for the month of june other than just framing things from this um, higher perspective, this perspective of creation. I'm gonna pull a tarot card on that. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So when upright, the Eight of Swords to me represents being trapped by your own thoughts. You're in this cage of your own making, your own thoughts. With it in reverse, they're telling us that June is going to be a month where you really need to learn to let go of these, these negative thoughts that are keeping you entrapped. It's going to become less and less tolerable for you to do things that are out of alignment with your highest good. And that, and that starts with your thoughts, okay? So this is a month where it's like, if you're having a negative thought trajectory, you're gonna see instant manifestations of that. You're gonna see things that you don't want manifesting in your reality, and that's just how it is. But on the flip side of that, if you're having a positive outlook on things, if you're shifting, you're alchemizing all these negative thoughts, choosing this higher perspective of creation, you're gonna see instant, instant, instant feedback on that. You're gonna see miracles, like really, actually it's your choice creation or destruction okay six of cups so likely you're going to have a reunion with someone this month 
um, someone that may have been out of your life for a long time, someone that is a high level soulmate, it feels like um, there was like a falling out or something, you've lost touch with each other, but it seems like someone is going to come back. This month is a month of kind of soul family coming together and reassembling to help each other go to the next level because things are just gonna keep getting more and more intense. So we really need to support each other. So likely for each person watching this, you're gonna have like one significant person that's coming back in that's gonna be your partner to help you with this, to push you to the next level again and again and again. And you're gonna push them again and again and again. And I wanna stress too, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a romantic connection when I say partner. This is someone that's like your your bestie, your partner in crime, okay? Um, it could be anyone, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a romantic partner. But this is someone that you can really trust. Someone who really loves you deeply, that has your highest good in mind. And then we got, the world card all right baby this is what i like to see um so first off this is a month where you might be called to travel even if it's just like a weekend quick trip to get out of your energy the energy of your environment somehow and know that this is going to be um good it's going to be supported it's going to help you shift to the next level is what they're saying so it's like do it travel and if you are planning anything maybe this is the time to plan something maybe this is your sign it's like just treat yourself even just to a day trip somewhere it's going to have this ripple effect you can't even imagine this positive ripple effect at that and this is also it's like we've gone through an entire fucking cycle okay this entire cycle and we've just had like the death period of that cycle we we're kind of like in the aftermath of this now is the time it's the denouement is is called in writerly terms at the very end like basically after the climax when all the good shit happens you get all your rewards for the hard work from the entire story the entire movie whatever it is so this chapter of your life you're gonna really start to get these rewards this month and you're gonna see them because last month it's like they were here energetically but we weren't really seeing them now they're gonna have had enough time to take tangible form. So you can trust that things are gonna come together. Pieces of the puzzle that didn't make sense before, they're gonna start to make sense. Things that seemed terrible before, you're gonna see now that they're actually very positive things. So this is really just a month of higher perspective and healing, and it's gonna feel very triumphant. But again, it comes back to our first point, creation or destruction. How are you gonna to choose to th see things? You get to choose the trajectory. You get to choose the path that you take here. It's a choose your own adventure game, basically. So finally, we have this judgment card, which is also at the end of the cycle, okay? So it's like, you've been through so much at this point, um, likely you will be tested one final time with some struggle, some challenge, some boss fight, as I like to put it. Um, it's some karmic lesson that maybe you thought that you've already integrated, you've healed that, you've beaten that, but it's gonna come back up. However, know that the worst is behind you. If you take nothing else away from this energy forecast, the worst is behind us right now, okay? All you have to do is keep moving forward, keep choosing that path of creation, and it's no big thing. Like him, he's like, I don't give any fucks. You can't do anything to me. I'm fuck unfuckwithable. If you have that attitude, instantaneously, this situation that seems so terrible, that's gonna want to make you think like you haven't made any progress, that's gonna have you really in victim mode, it's gonna be instantly alchemized, my friend. Instantly alchemized, okay? You have that power with your intention, with your choice. So do not forget that. Now, if you're still feeling like you're struggling with toxic people, toxic patterns, toxic environments and the like, and you, you just can't seem to get out by yourself, I would encourage you to join me and your fellow light bringers in my private community, the House of the Spirit Dragon this month, because we're gonna be working with the fire dragons. I'm gonna teach you how to do that safely. You're gonna meet your fire dragon guide and we are going to burn all that no longer serves us. So we really actually can move into this new cycle, this new chapter, fully empowered. If that sounds awesome to you, I will leave a link in the description below. 
And as always, my friends, I'm sending you much, much love on your journey. Stay powerful and let me know, is this resonating? Are you ready for the next level?